Hi friends, welcome back to Circle Time. My name is Miss Kaya and today we are going to be talking all about camping. I love camping so much. It's so fun to go outside and sit in a tent and play around outside around lots of different trees, right? I've got some tree plant friends here too. I've got a nice snake plant and a spider plant and lots of little baby plants here too beside me. When you go camping, you can find lots of these plants outside as well. So we are going to be talking all about camping today. On today's agenda, we are going to first practice our letters and numbers. But first we're gonna do a big stretch, yes. We'll do our big stretch, practice our letters and numbers, and then we're gonna read a special book with bears in it. This is called Who Do You Love? And it's a very special book because it has bears in it. Where do we see bears? Do we see bears in our home? No, sometimes we might see bears when we go camping. So we have to be very careful not to disturb the bears because bears live outside too. And if you get too close to them, it might be a little bit dangerous, right? Okay, after we read our book, we are gonna go over a camping list that I made and I need your help to make sure I didn't forget anything. All right, so let's get started with our big stretch. I'm gonna move up closer to my camera so there's lots of space around me. And look, I'm right here in the middle. So make sure when you're doing your stretch that there's lots of space. If you go like this, you shouldn't be able to touch anything in front or behind you. You can do this standing up or you can do it sitting down like me. Okay, friends, are you ready? Let's start with our arms up over our head. Nice job. We're gonna reach our arms nice and tall. You can't even see my fingers, but I'm wiggling them. Nice job, friends. Next, we're gonna take our arms and we're gonna do a kite over our head and lean to the right. Nice job, do you see my kite? It's a diamond shape. Good stretch, friends. Now we're gonna lean over to the left with another diamond shape. Good job, friends. Good stretching, that felt really nice on the back. Now we're gonna do our waterfall. So for this one, we are going to lean back. So make sure nothing is behind you. And when you're doing this stretch, make sure to be gentle with your body. You're not gonna go too fast with this, okay? All right, so hands up over our head and we're gonna lean and look back at the wall or whatever is behind us. Ready? Nice and gentle. Good job, friends. That's a nice stretch for our back. And do you know where else I felt that? I felt this right here in my core. It's very important that we keep this area strong because this helps us run and sit very nicely. It's very important that we stretch and keep that part strong in our bodies. Good job. And I'm gonna go forward and stretch my back a little bit forward today. So you can put your hands out in front and stretch, stretch, stretch forward. Awesome job, wiggle those fingers. Good job. Next, let's stretch our legs. So I'm gonna take my knees and my legs and put them out in front of me. And I'm gonna lean up and over. Oh, that feels amazing. That feels so good on the legs. I'm stretching behind my leg muscles. We need to make sure those are strong and they're not super tight so that we can run and we can sit crisscross and we can walk and we can bend when we're playing. Awesome job. Let's do our butterfly kisses. So we're gonna put our feet together and down. This is really nice because it stretch out, stretches out the hips right here. Sometimes when we sit and watch TV or maybe read books for a very long time, those parts in our bodies get tight. So it's very important to stretch those parts out. Awesome job. Okay, friends, we're gonna do our breathing exercise. Now, usually I do cakes. I think I've done pies before, but I'm really craving cookies. I'm craving cookies so much. I think I might make some cookies after this. So let's pretend today that we have a plate of cookies in our hands to practice our breathing. 
So I'm going to imagine rainbow sprinkle chocolate chip cookies. It sounds like a lot of ingredients, but I bet they'd be super yummy if I tried them. So what flavor are you going to try today? Okay, so we're gonna picture that in our mind and when we breathe in through our nose, we're gonna pretend we're smelling our plate of cookies. But remember, there's a candle on this plate of cookies. We have to blow the candle out. So we're gonna blow in through our nose, ready? And we're gonna blow out the candle. Good job. Did you blow out your candle? Excellent, we'll do it one more time. Okay, breathe in and smell your plate of cookies. And breathe out and blow out your candle. Good job, friends. Excellent practicing our breathing. Okay, let's get into our letters and numbers now. I'm gonna come closer to the camera so all of my friends at home can see my letters and numbers. Okay, let's start with our letters. Okay, so I'm gonna hold up the letter and I want you at home to tell me how that letter sounds. Let's try it like this. This is the letter A and it sounds like ah, ah, ah for alligator. This is the letter B and it makes the sound B, B, for bear. This might be a tricky one. This is the letter C. It makes the sound K, K, for cow. This is the letter D. It makes the sound D, D, for dog. This is the letter E. E for e, e, elephant. This is the letter F. It makes the sound F, F for frog. This is the letter G. It makes the sound G, G for goat. This is the letter H. It makes the sound ha ha for horse. This is the letter I. It makes the sound i i for insects. This is the letter J. J sounds like j j for jellyfish. This is the letter K. The letter K makes the sound k, k for kangaroo. This is the letter L. L makes the sound l, l for lion. This is the letter M. M makes the sound m, m for monkey. This is the letter N. N makes the sound n, n, for Norwal. And our new letter this week is O. This is the letter O. When I say the letter O, my mouth also says the letter O too. Look, O, O, it's a big circle. Hmm, let's see what our animal is. It's an octopus oh, oh octopus wow good job friends we're getting really great at pronouncing our letters and matching them to the animals and making their sounds let's practice our counting this is the number one one red cube this is the number two two orange cubes one two. This is the number three. Three yellow cubes. One, two, three. This is the number four. Four green cubes. One, two, three, four. This is the number five. 
five blue cubes. One, two, three, four, five. This is the number six. Six green cubes. One, two, three, four, five, six. This is the number seven. Oops. This is the number seven. Seven yellow cubes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. This is the number eight. Eight orange cubes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. This is the number nine. Nine red cubes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And this is the number 10. We have 10 blue cubes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten blue cubes. We've been practicing our double digit numbers as well. Now my cards only go up to the number 10, so I actually have to get creative and make the numbers myself after the number 10. So after the number 10 comes the number 11. A one and a one together makes the number 11. The number one and two together makes the number 12. The number one and three together makes the number 13, 13. The number one and four together makes the number 14. And our new number this week is a one and a five. This makes the number 15. We're getting pretty high in our numbers, friends. Excellent counting today. I'm gonna put my number and letter cards away and then we can read our book together. Now I mentioned that sometimes when we're outside, we might see animals and plants that we don't normally see, especially when we're camping. When we go camping, we go usually far away from our home and we'll have to drive there. Maybe we'll take a boat sometimes. And it's important when we go camping to remember that we're just staying there for a little bit. We're just using our tent. We're not gonna build a house or anything. We might do things differently, like cook on a fire. We might do things differently, like not use a proper toilet. That seems silly, right? And we also need to remember that other, other things live there too, like other animals and other plants. And a lot of the times, these types of animals and plants only have the forest to live in. They don't have a nice home where they can grow and they can eat whenever. So we have to be very mindful and very careful when we're going camping that we don't disturb these other animals and plants. So that means when we go out for a walk in the forest that we're not picking at all the leaves on the trees or on the ground. We're not picking flowers. And when we see animals, we have to give them lots of space because they're not always used to people like us. I see lots of squirrels and birds where I live in the city and they're really used to seeing people around. But we, when we go camping in the forest, things like deer and birds and sometimes snakes and raccoons or maybe different animals like that, they're not used to seeing people around. Sometimes you might see loons or beavers and these animals are not used to seeing people. So you have to give them lots of space and you have to be very quiet. Because if you make loud sounds like that, it's going to scare them away. And remember, we are visiting their homes. So we have to be very respectful of their homes and make sure we don't litter, we don't leave any garbage behind, and that if we see them, we respect them by giving their space, right? When I go camping, I like to remember leave only footprints and take only memories. So that's a really good thing to remember when you go camping, to leave only your footprints and not leave your trash behind. 
and to take only memories in your head, all those fun things. We're not gonna take plants and take animals home. Those are their homes, okay? Those are really important things to remember. Another important thing to remember is sometimes when we're camping, we might see bigger animals that might be a little bit dangerous to us. Oftentimes we don't usually see these animals, but it's always important to remember that there is a possibility we can. And sometimes we might see bears if we're lucky enough. Now we have to remember to give bears lots of space too, right? They won't bother them. They won't bother us if we don't bother them. So I thought today I would read a book about bears. This book is called, Who Do You Love? And it has lots of soft textures on it like this bear fur. It's just pretend though. Little bears love the flowers in the spring, but there's someone they love more than anything. Little bear, who do you love? I love my mom. Little bears love to get their rest, but there's someone they love and think is the best. Little bear, who do you love? I love my dad. Little bears love sticky honey to touch, but there's someone whose smile they love very much. Little bear, who do you love? I love my grandma. Little bears love to play in the sun, but there's someone who makes tumble tussle time fun. Little bear, who do you love? I love my brother. Little bears love to swim where it's cold, but there's someone whose hand they love to hold. Little bear, who do you love? I love my sister. Little bears love to cuddle up snug, and before they do, they give a big hug. Little bear, who do you love? I love you. His arms are stretched out very wide to give us a hug. That's a really nice book. Who do you love in your life? Amazing. All right, friends. Usually I do a science experiment, but I thought it'd be really cool if all of my friends helped me pack for my camping trip. Do you think you could help me? Okay, I've made a list behind me and I'm gonna go through it and I want you to see if you notice anything interesting. Is there anything I'm missing, something I shouldn't be bringing? You let me know, okay? I'll tell you my list and what is on it. This is my camping list. I'm going to pack a tent, a flashlight, bug spray, dinosaurs, a bathing suit, a glue stick, blocks, a television, a microwave, a spaceship, and six rolls of tape. Hmm, some of these things sound a little bit odd, like they don't belong on a camping trip, don't you think? Hmm, let's see. I think the dinosaurs, that one sounded a little bit odd to bring. I don't need to bring dinosaurs, do I? No, let's erase that. What else sounded a little bit odd for my camping list? The glue stick. What would I do with a glue stick camping? That's a little odd, isn't it? I don't think I'm going to bring a glue stick on my camping trip. Um, my blocks. I don't think I need to bring my blocks. What would I do with them camping? Hmm, I don't think I need blocks. Okay, here's one that I know for sure I don't need to bring. A television and a microwave. Why do I need a television and a microwave? I don't think I need that, especially because I have nowhere to plug it in. There's no electricity when we're camping. There's only trees. Okay, those two are not coming camping. 
for sure. Okay, how about my spaceship? I don't need that, do I? No. Okay, another weird one was the six rolls of tape. Why on earth would I need tape when I go camping? Super odd, right? I thought so too. Okay, I've erased some of the weird things. So now I just have my tent, flashlight, bug spray, and bathing suit. Those seem pretty normal for camping, right? I think so too. Can you help me at home figure out what else I need to bring camping, please? Okay, tent, flashlight, bug spray. What else? Well, I have a tent. What do I need to put inside the tent to sleep inside? I feel like it might get cold at night, right? I feel like I need some sort of bed or blanket or a combination of both. A sleeping bag. I need my sleeping bag. Okay, I've got my sleeping bag, of course. Thank you, friends. Okay, I've got tent, flashlight, bug spray, sleeping bag, bathing suit. And I feel like once I get out of the water in my bathing suit, I'm gonna be super cold. And I need something to wrap around me um, to keep me warm and dry. A towel, of course, a towel. How could I forget? I need to pack a towel to dry me off after I go swimming in the lake or the river. Of course, a towel. Thank you, friends. Okay, tent, a flashlight. Now, flashlights are pretty cool, but you know what would be even cooler? If I had something that was like a flashlight and it glowed, except it, it glowed in different colors. Glow glow sticks oh, glow sticks would be so amazing to bring yes i'm gonna pack some glow sticks that'll be a treat that will be a nice treat treat we don't have any food on our camping trip hmm treats what sort of treats could i bring on this camping trip Something that's like chocolatey and crunchy, but gooey. Something that I could like cook over a fire. Maybe something that had like a marshmallow inside of it and like graham crackers and chocolate. A s'more. Oh, I need stuff for s'mores, of course. I'm gonna write that down. Thank you, friends. S'mores, what a funny word that is. Okay, my list is looking a little bit better. Okay, now I've got bug spray to protect me from the bugs, but I feel like there's something that I need to protect me during the day from the sun. What do we usually put on in, when there's sun out to protect our skin from burning? Sunscreen, thank you, friend. That's super important. Good thing I didn't forget it. We are going to pack sunscreen. Thank you, friends. Okay, this is looking a little bit better. Now, you know what? I'm thinking about my s'mores and I'm thinking about my fire that I'm gonna cook them on. How do I bring fire camping? Do I just make the fire? How do I make a fire? What do I need? I need something to build the fire Something that like would burn? <gasps> wood, I need firewood. That's exactly right. I need firewood. Thank you, friends. And it's important when we use firewood that we get it from where we're camping. We don't wanna bring other trees and other bugs and other species into where we're camping because they might hurt the other trees and bugs and species that are already there, right? Okay, this is looking like a really nice list. I feel a lot more comfortable camping now. I didn't want to bring my spaceship to blocks. That's silly. Thank you, friends. I think I'm gonna go pack up for my camping trip now. Tell us how your camping trips this summer went or if you're planning on going on one. 
Thank you so much for joining me today, friends. I hope you enjoyed our circle time. Let's do a big, big wave. I'm gonna come closer to my friends. I'm gonna wave goodbye, and I'm gonna give you all hugs, and I'm gonna give myself a hug. Very important to always give ourselves a hug, right? Okay, friends, I will see you all very soon. Bye.